Let's take uh, folks down to Gitmo, where a bunch of those guys who are being held are on a continued hunger strike. Uh, a judge ruled Monday that she lacks the authority to halt the force feeding. You refer to this essentially as jihad theater or Cirque du Jihad. Cirque du Jihad, mm -hmm. certainly. I think that you have to put this latest round of hunger strikes, which have been going on for several months, in context. And the fact is that you've got Gitmo swindlers uh, who've been foisting all sorts of fables on the world with help from a lot of these transnationalist groups and left wing bleeding hearts lawyers who are trying to cast every last detainee as some poor innocent potato farmer. And I think that what the American people need here is a reality check about how manipulative al-Qaeda operatives and their sympathizers are. Yeah. Um, and the fact is that, you know, back since 2005, uh, they have been concocting all sorts of sob stories and victim stories uh, to try and shut Gitmo down. And that is the ultimate goal here. It has nothing to do with uh, any kind of defense of, of human rights. These people are willingly and deliberately oh, yeah. manipulating public and global opinion. I I know it's unbelievable. The the uh, the inmates are running the asylum, and it's we're allowing <laughs> it. If you let the guards do their thing, they'd be able to take control of it. Meanwhile, the AP is now reporting that Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, who is a graduate of North Carolina A and T with I believe a degree in engineering, has been allowed to put together and take apart a vacuum cleaner to keep his sanity. What's your take <laughs> on that? Well, you know, it's it's part of that whole Gitmo coddling mentality. Um, apparently, we're indulging his tinkering um, pen, uh, penchant and fetish here by letting him do this kind of thing. Um, I think what was shocking to me in in the stories that have come out about how we've uh, been filling his idle time um, is the fact that you know here he is relaxing, watching movies and and DVDs, and apparently getting Snickers bars. Okay, so let's not focus on the hunger. Strikers. Let's talk about that. And this guy has still yet to be, um, you know, held and, uh, and uh, justice achieved for his masterminding of terror plots that took American innocent lives. Cost us millions of dollars. All part of your of jihad. Course.